The New York Rum Festival kicks off on Friday, June 14 at the famous Asta Center for a day of seminars with the top minds in the rum world. Temples, light refreshments and Q&A are all about investigating rum's rich traditions and multifaceted flavors. On Saturday, June 15, the grand tasting begins at the Metropolitan West Exposition Hall in Midtown Manhattan. Here you can dive into over 30 rums from around the world, from the familiar to the rare. Along the way, take in further in-depth discussions from renowned experts. We have put together a roster of the city's best rum, cocktail and Caribbean bars, each with their own take on rum week. The best part is seeing people that I don't get to see every day. You know, we're, you know, brand ambassadors, bar owners, bartenders, like people who are really interested in rum, we're all over the place doing our, our projects and our work. And so that weekend we get to reunite and hang out and have some rums and just enjoy them. You have a dish right here. What exactly is it? So here we have exactly the tip of um, of fusion Caribbean and, for example, French or European food. We have a uh, uh, Caribbean risotto, which is made with the traditional Italian recipe, but we add some uh, Caribbean spices and vegetable inside. It's with uh, with salmon, and also we have uh, like sauté vegetables with it. It's a shrimp risotto. For the rum fest this year, is there anything special you have on the menu preparing? We are working on a, on something special for it, trying to mix uh, rum, Caribbean culture and Harlem. Okay. So we'll have a lot of surprise for everybody. One of the fortunate things of my experience is I've, I've had the opportunity to be exposed to the great creators in this whole craft cocktail world. So when we do spirits, when we do cocktails, we do some really, really, really cool things. The event is another way to celebrate what our countries are seeing, you know, and the opportunity for people to understand that there's greatness, especially given what's going on in D.C. right now, where there's so much disrespect going on for immigrant communities. And the June being Immigrant Heritage Month, this is a perfect opportunity to say, you know what, let us remind people again of what's happening in our communities and the impact that it brings to New York and across the country. My family's drinking rum. I thought about rum. I was like, I want to do a rum place. And the idea to me was just like, I'm going to do something that, in a way that nobody else is doing it. Because there's other rum bars in New York City. True indeed. But the perspective is different, right? It's like, it's more of, it's not from a, a true black Caribbean, African Caribbean person, right? So I wanted to do something from that perspective. But as I started to look into it, I realized that rum was a part of the triangle trade. And so rum was actually used as currency to buy and sell slaves. Yeah. And I, and I tell you, I'm even on Vex from here to here, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's like, this yeah. is not cool. Sure. Right? You know what I'm saying? So so I started looking for a, for something to, to like reinvigorate that energy. And I found the story of Venture Smith. He's an African who was purchased for four gallons of rum, sold into slavery. He eventually bought himself out of slavery, figured out how to do that. Yeah. Then, he, then he bought him his family out of slavery nice. and then he bought some land he ultimately died a wealthy man yeah. and he had two sons his sons were named Solomon and Cuff okay. so that's where the name comes that's from, where the name come from. Yeah. Nice. this is an opportunity for us to support entrepreneurs that are doing the right thing and for us to keep this going and that's why it's important and we're grateful for this interview because now you can say hey if I'm coming into Harlem find a place like Solomon and Cuff that's doing the right thing go to 67 Orange that's doing the right thing 
come up to the Bronx, see what we got going on in the Bronx, see what's going on in different areas, because when they start seeing entrepreneurs of color, then we can support our own and give back to our own. It's, it's, it's becoming more popular it's because, more popular. you know, yeah. with the whole like craft cocktail thing and people concerned about drinking better and eating better, yeah. you know, first it was tequila and then mezcal, you know, rum, rum is having its turn right now.